Canada's day to dream big at Wimbledon, and there was no shortage of enthusiasm. Just to come here with a Canadian here is just fantastic. It's just amazing. Outside center court ahead of the championship match, many new recruits to Jeannie's army of fans. She's so good. She's so humble. And she's so pretty. <laughs> Eugenie Bouchard, in many ways, the talk of this tournament, even the princess she's named after, Eugenie of York, on hand for her big day. Bouchard to say. Petra Kvitova made sure there would be no fairy tale ending for the Canadian. Oh. Bouchard, so often dominant here, now dominated. In the crowd, a former Canadian MP tried to stay positive. We are here sitting at Wimbledon. You just can't believe it. It's fabulous. And a Canadian in the final for the first time ever. Wow. Fans also cheered her on at viewing parties across Canada, but this day belonged to the 24-year-old from the Czech Republic. And in just 55 minutes, it was all over. 6-3, 6 love, the shortest ladies final in decades. Kvitova, a Wimbledon champion for a second time. Bouchard left a little stunned. I feel like it's a step in, in the right direction. I don't know if I deserve all your love today, but I really appreciate it. <laughs> The pain of her loss is eased somewhat by $1.6 million in prize money. Second place also means a climb to number seven in the world rankings, best ever for a Canadian. It was, it was a big moment walking out onto center court for a final. So, you know, I, I have that experience now. I, I know what it feels like. And, uh, you know, I hope I can walk out to many more finals. Bouchard says she'll put down her tennis racket at least for a little while and head home to Montreal to enjoy a well-deserved rest. She may have lost here today, but she left quite the impression. Omar.